Hello everyone and welcome. We are here at SEMA 2015 and we're going to be checking out the Nissan GTR with the N Attack package. Regardless of where you sit on the polarizing debate of how awesome the Nissan GTR is, you cannot deny its speed. In 2013, it set a lap record at the infamous Nurburgring circuit. posting a time of just over 7 minutes, 8 seconds. So how did the GTR manage to maintain an average speed of over 107 miles per hour for just under 13 consecutive miles? Well, they did it using the parts that they're now offering in the Nismo and Attack package. Let's break this down into the various sections which received upgrades, starting with the engine and powertrain. The engine for this unit uses a unique dedicated ECM for proper tuning, carbon fiber intercooler piping, a steel plate mechanical 1.5 way limited slip front differential, and a 2 way carbon plate mechanical rear differential. The difference between the 1.5 way and the 2 way differentials is that a 2 way will provide more locking pressure under deceleration. Moving on to the suspension and brakes, it's important to understand that the Nurburgring is a long, fast track with lots of heavy braking and a fair amount of rough areas. Hence, the GTR N Attack features Olin's height adjustable and four way damping adjustable shocks, similar to what is used on the GT3 Nissan GTR. There are also upgraded sway bars, as well as an altered friction material for the brake pads in order to deal with the high amounts of heat rejection required for the ring. As far as the exterior, of course downforce is a must when you're traveling at high speeds to maintain grip and stability. In the back is a dry carbon fiber wing with a 2 point height adjustment mechanism and a 12 point angle regulating mechanism, allowing for corrections to downforce and aerodynamics on site. They've also added carbon front fenders and a rubber front spoiler. Finally, on the interior, the GTR is fitted with carbon fiber Recaro bucket seats as well as a carbon fiber bulkhead in place of the rear seats. So how much does all of this cost? Well, Nissan has split it up into two packages, package A and package B, with package A including all of the Nurburgring parts shown. Package A, it's as much as $98,000, meaning you're suddenly in a quarter of a million dollar Nissan GTR, considering the base price of about $150,000 for the standard Nismo GTR. Perhaps a hard pill to swallow considering you could buy two base GTRs for the same price as the Nurburgring edition, but it's impressive nonetheless just how fast this car can be.